James from maybe 50? Bang. Yes. Great putt. That's how you want to get your round started. Especially from that angle. I mean, if he misses that, that there's 1,400 spectator passes oh were, were sold during this week. So obviously they're not going to all be out there today, but it's a lot of passes. They did sell out. James Conner at 35 and back to back jump putts to start his round off. That's just launchable for him, though. That's his perfect little. Flip that up like a fairway. He loves those F5s. And Kevin just giving himself some work to start this round. Oh, oh. my goodness. Behind it, we never see him kind of go with that lot, that high, lofty little floaty putt, and I like to see that from there. Emerson to sling in a birdie. Oh, yes, cash 50 feet. This kid's on a mission, he's got so much fight. Beautiful putt. I mean, that is just picture perfect. He has Oops. such a unique putting style, it's just a little bit better line. I'm Rick, I'm saying just not short. Oh my, right into the heart of it. That was a nice stroke. Sometimes that's all it takes. See how he responds to this. Full extension. This is where Rick separates himself from other players. Dead center, sick replay from GK. Yeah, so much. yeah. Shaping putts is a little different in the woods. Like if you have to drift something from left. To, whoa, go in. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. There is no oh. difference to Calvin. <laughs> that drive was so huge. That had to be like 160 into the green. Only unblemished scorecard after we finish hole seven. Yeah, not really wanting to take the hammer to the little, the little uh, one mile per hour now. I'm sorry <laughs> I said that. We all have insecure moments. Calvin, come on. Not Calvin. <laughs> this Fantastic is super confident. save. Yeah. This is like the fifth or sixth bomb we've seen him drop so far this event. We're like seven holes into the third round. He's got to die. That was a little misfire from Calvin. We don't see that very often, him pull it that far off target. Emerson going wide, Heiser. Does this find the green? Dig. Oh, wow. what a way to bounce back. Fortunate, really. Get, but yeah, he is going to be putting from, looks like about circle's edge. Yeah. Oh, Mason. let's go, Mason. Just drops that it in there. That was a 40-foot uphill putt. He has come to play. Can I have a look at it? And here is the R-Pro dart. Kevin is still shaking his head at his shot. Can't believe it. I'm going yes on the dart right here. Wow, and it was around the it's tree too, slight hyzer. A good utility to have. Is that something more stable? I know he's, he rolls D6s really for sure and stuff. Yeah. I feel like if it was the D6, it would have gone a little faster. Ooh, that's that skip you do like. Greg, almost all the ah. way? It's easy to do, it's pretty short. There we go. That was smooth. Yeah, I mean, he's been all over it all round, not finding the middle of it every time. I think we're seeing the conditions calm down a lot too. Didn't look like any wind at play on that disc. Rick's gonna putt a lot better with no wind. We all are. His hand, unfortunately. Yeah, this guy's guy yeah. dirty at the putting thing. That is so good. Like he's not like just barely getting in. Like every time he makes these putts from 50, 60 feet. Usually you're gonna flip up to the right and be safe. Over under 1.5 birdie skip. Quick. One, under, Quick. under. Okay, I'm going over. And I think Ezra just parked it. <laughs> Throws a great one. Oh my gosh. Base job. Over under 1.5? Apparently, there's not a consistent set of rules that 
governs each hole and that ditch is safe. Oh, that is news to me. Yeah. Wait. And he just, he gets to take it on that side. No way. On on the closer side? Yeah. Why? I think it's because of where it entered. If it had touched on the other side of the ditch, he would have had to take it over there. But because it entered there, that's where he takes it from. It goes to show you learn something every day. I think I Billy Crump would say in times past, that is butter on a hot roll. Did he say that? Oh, yeah. About disc golf shots? I you betcha, that. Nate. That's before my time. Yeah. Oh, Nate Sexton drops one in from 45, 50 feet up the hill. Leaned up in his stance a little early. <laughs> that is such a high level putt, Nate. Please rewind this. There is water directly behind the basket. And like I said the other day with Cade having that beginner's mind throwing rocket putts with water right behind it. Kevin's doing the same thing and he's a tour veteran already. And just to be able to continue... Lead card. Back to Calvin. Maybe 55 feet. He's been liking the lies in the bunker. I'm sure he doesn't want to throw there, but he's made everything <laughs> in there. It, if that doesn't go in, I don't care if you hit it dead center, it doesn't go in, it still goes in the bunker long. That is insane. What a putt. It probably goes in the bunker via the cage, the top, the right side chains. I mean, it oh. has to be center. That is such a risky, committed, great shot. Perfect shot from Kale. Hoping he ends on a birdie. Let's go, Kev. Yeah. <laughs> he uh, is the... Please rewind this. Look at this putt. Nothingness behind the basket. And it's in the heart. The man is going Steph Curry from circle two. He is changing disc golf. Him and a few other players are making circle two.